if the idea of uh, <clears throat> killing wild animals goes against your sensibilities, that's just fine and dandy. You're right. Just like I have the right to do it. So, if that bothers you, you just turn this thing off right now. It's cool. It's all good. No reason to leave negative comments because this is what I do. This is my Hickbilly life. I'm D.W. Verts. I'll be right back. So I'm not going to try to quantify what I do out here in the woods and the creeks and such. Except to say that it's like these beaver and otters I'm trying to catch. Um, they're beautiful critters. They're wonderful creatures. But they're also very damaging. And the otter especially are the absolute top of the food chain. There ain't nothing bigger and meaner than otter. They're hard on things. They wipe out fish populations and ponds and just... And being the top of the food chain, nothing else takes them out. So it's kind of up to people like me to try to help. The beaver build the dams. It, just wonderful critters. But they also do a lot of property damage with those dams. So, And if, if left unchecked, that population get too big. And then there's always that chance of diseases. Well, it's not a chance. It happens. Right here where I'm at right now, there's not very many raccoon tracks. We got billions of raccoons in this part of the country. I think this temper's probably got them because there's two daggum many of them. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Everything in nature has its place, including me. It's 31 degrees out here. No wind, nice and calm. Had a little bit of snow last night. It's already pretty much melted off. There's a little bit of some easy leaves, but... This is what I do. This is natural to me. I don't know. It's city folks going to the movies. I don't. It's all I've ever done. Got traps. I'm running behind me, but I thought I'd run up this little ditch, look for arrowheads for a few minutes before I go to work. I got to get some traps run, and hopefully some critters to handle. This is what I do, and it's cold. My hand holding this camera. I took my glove off. It's cold. I've done this my whole life. I don't know anything else. And I tell people I wasted my life doing this, but I think it's my life to waste, and I'm kind of tickled with it. I like it better when it's 75 degrees. <laughs> I have found so many arrowheads on this gravel bar over the years, it's hard for me not to take a quick look around. We've been walking on it for four days now, but haven't been taking the time, so I have to take a little look-see before I go to that, my next trap up here. Man, I found just, boy, several buckets for years, and other people figured it out, and that was the end of that. Once in a while. There's what it looks like when beaver live here. They've, uh, they've been busy. Busy little, little beaver. So, do these hoodlums carry spray paint in their back pocket? And I don't get what you see in these things. It's some sort of code? Sort of cult symbol? I, I just don't get it. I was going to say something about shooting people, but that would be a wrong thing to say. Just picked up a rock I'll take home to my wife. It's not pretty to a degree. It's druzy quartz inside this ugly rock. It's got several veins running through it. But she'll look at it in one of her rock gardens. She'll be happy for about, oh, I don't know, 22 seconds. These folks driving by in the road sometimes slow down and give me old hairy eyeball. Probably some of these folks are the ones that come down here trespassing in July. They can't figure out why somebody's down here in January in this cold creek. They don't get it. Quitters. <laughs> There's some more beaver handiwork right there. Man, they're just really, really cool animals. Things has been worked all the way around it. It barber chaired on them when they tried to cut it down. It's 
loaded up and kind of wonder if somebody said, oh crap, and got out of the way. Look at that. I just There's an old, old, old working right there. There's newer ones. They knocked it down, looks like probably this summer, and then all this is fairly recent. It's just cool what they do. We're going to have chips. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I couldn't help but pull over and admire some more of the beavers' handiwork. Some of the things they've been up to. Just awesome, ain't it? Look at that. And they've, uh, I can see them up down the creek. And over on that bank, way up on that high bank. I don't get this on the camera or not. Am I on that? Yeah, there it is. Way up on that bluff. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I mean, I'm easily amused. I get it. right there they're just the coolest cats and here I am trying to kill them it's just a it's a quandary I get it one more time I promise I'm gonna quit on the beaver destruction but I'd like to point out also these trees are on these creek banks and in some places it's the only thing holding these creek banks together you got this one here's oh eight foot from the creek that tree's dead I mean it killed it if they ever finish it, who knows? There's one over there they just started on. I think I've worked on for a long time. So, so that's again one of the reasons. See, there's a bank there. It's degrading real bad. Roots underneath there is rotted away, and it's getting ready to fall in the creek. That's not good for the creek. It's not good for the landowner. And look at this one. This one's a wow. Right on the edge of the creek. And they're working it and start to do that barbecue. It started to split. It's not good. It's fixing to blow in the creek. Maybe blowing a poor beaver's head. I don't know. Boy, again, all the way up on the other bank. And the thing is, I'm not seeing where that many beaver are down here. I need to, I'm missing something. I guess this it did turn into being a video on why I do what I do. These are such cool critters. I mean, they're awesome critters. They do things that man can't do with modern equipment. It's just crazy. But look at the damage they've done. Just in the, I've been a 60-yard stretch through here. And the damage they're doing is fundamental. Yeah, that tree's fell in the water over the years and yeah they're putting the mashed potatoes to it so oh well that's your beaver lesson for the week maybe for the year maybe for your whole life who knows